Over 1 million nursing students trust Simple Nursing to help them pass nursing school and the NCLEX. So head over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube to join them in their success. Hi everybody, Dr. Mike here. In this video, I want to introduce to you the various parts of the central nervous system. So to begin with, you need to understand that the central nervous system is made up of the brain and the spinal cord. And it's central anatomically because it sits in the middle of the body, but it's also central functionally because it's the site of information integration. It's where we make sense of all the signals that are coming into us from the environment, whether that's the external or internal environment. We make an, a decision, we understand what's going on, and then we send a signal out to the various muscles, tissues, or glands of the body in order to have some sort of reaction to those stimuli that are coming in. Now, if we look at the brain itself, first thing I wanna begin with is the fact that the brain sits within a skull casing, that bony structure that we call the skull. But above the brain, but below the skull, there's actually three protective layers on, of the brain that we term the meninges or meningeal layers. So these three layers, if I were to draw them up for you very quickly, the first layer is the layer that's most adherent to the brain itself. And this layer is termed the pia mater. And pia means soft, mater means mother. It's the soft mother. Basically, it's like tissue paper that's stuck to the brain itself. On top of the pia mater, we've got another layer that has these projections down to the pia mater that look a little bit like a spider's web. And this is called the arachnoid mater, or spider mother. Interestingly, below the arachnoid layer, but above the pia mater, is where the cerebral spinal fluid floats through. Now on top of the arachnoid mater, we've got a very tough layer called the dura mater which means tough mother. And it's like a paper bag consistency, very tough. On top of the dura mater is where we have our skull. And again, cumulatively, these three layers are called our meninges or meningeal layers. And if they have some sort of infection or inflammation associated with them, that's called meningitis. So, let's take the brain, move it down, and have a look at the various parts of the brain. First, We've got the actual brain itself that we call the cerebrum, which is made up of multiple lobes. So we've got the cerebrum here. Then we've got the little cerebrum, which we term the cerebellum. And cerebellum actually does mean little cerebrum. And then we've got the brain stem. And obviously below the brain stem, that's where we've got the spinal cord. Looking to cut your study time in half? Head on over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube. You can sign up for free and get access to all of this.